Hi there, my name is Dan and I'm the product manager for Ignite. Ignite is software that enables you to do a lot of things, but one of my favorite aspects is the ability to see a 10,000 foot cockpit view of all of your campaigns in one place. And that's what we're looking at here. So we're seeing all of our campaign performance from one location and we're not just seeing stuff we can see in Seller Central. I mean, I'm seeing ACOS here, I'm seeing ROAS and a lot of different figures. And I can also drill down into individual campaigns or campaign groups and change the scope of time that Ignite can look at beyond Seller Central's limit of 60 days. I can go back, you know, potentially years, depending how long you've been connected to our system. On top of that, we also give you some context. We don't just give you numbers. So over the last 30 days, my ACoS is 13.23%. And that's actually down 6% from the previous 30 days. So a lot of useful information here, quick and easy ways to get those insights, and also the ability, if you want to, to download this data in a daily format to you know, an external system and further manipulate within Excel or however you like to do things. Now, straight from this dashboard, you can see that there's multiple places that we can go. I mean, I could jump right into suggestions, which is by and large uh, the most popular feature at Ignite. I can drill down into campaigns and I can also look at keywords. But let's go ahead and jump into campaigns because that's kind of the top level view and the way that we look at things. And right at the bat, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a lot of data in one place. Uh, one thing that may look a little bit unusual to you is this column here that says target ACOS. Now, target ACOS is unique to Ignite. What you do is you input your goal for this campaign, your ACOS goal, and Ignite will generate suggestions in order to meet this goal. A number of different suggestions, and we'll get to that a little bit later. But just wanted to highlight that pretty neat feature there. You can also uh, manipulate a lot of the same items that you can within uh, Seller Central, uh, including you know, the ability to check out your daily budget, which is, which is nice, and also edit that. Uh, as well, and a number of other items, including drilling down even further into these campaigns, and of course, looking at your ad group data, your keywords, search terms. Now, if you're like me, you really, this is nice and all, but you're moving quickly. You don't want to drill down into each campaign to make changes. You really want to look at the high level health of all your campaigns from one place. And where a lot of people start to do that is on the keywords table. And right here, this is one of the differentiating factors of Ignite from Seller Central. And this gives you the ability to see all of your keywords from one place. Uh, long gone are the days of drilling down to individual campaigns or exporting Excel, bulk upload Excels, and trying to manage stuff uh, very inefficiently. You know, right from the single table, I can change the scope of my data and look at the dates. Once again, going back further than Amazon 60 days, I can quickly drill down and find anything with, for example, the string coaster in any of my keywords. And let's say, you know what, I don't care about archive stuff, so only show me active uh, campaigns, active keywords rather. Um, I can look at specific match types and I can drill down a lot of the ways that you would expect to be able to but this is across all of my campaigns. So by and large, one of my favorite features of Ignite is the ability to drill down with data filters. So I can say, okay, I wanna see everything with more than one conversion right out the gates. Now I'm, I'm identifying some of these higher performing campaigns that are actually getting some traction. I wanna see stuff that has an ACoS minimum, 10% of ACoS and et cetera, and just keep drilling down until I find exactly what I need. And when I do, I can select all these items and, for example, edit the bids or pause or archive or do whatever, make them negative, depending on what I'm trying to do. So really what this enables you to do is save a ton of time and up to five times faster than Seller Central, in fact. That's pretty powerful. And I, this is really what I like about Ignite is the ability to drill down and quickly find what I need and then take actions on these items. And of course, like all, all of our other tables, you have the ability to download this information externally. Another item that makes Ignite so great is that long gone are the days of having to go into Amazon, dig out reports, wait for the reports to run and pull your search terms out. So what people are actually searching for in your auto campaigns and also in your manual campaigns. So what's triggering the keywords in your manual campaigns? So as you can see here, I'm actually looking at my last 12 months of search terms data all from one place. 
uh, which is incredible. This is a massive amount of data that we're able to integrate into Ignite. And it's all at your fingertips. And you can drill down much like we showed at the keywords table and figure out which items are converting, which items are not. Uh, select the items that you want to make changes to individually or together and create negative keywords or convert to keywords. Just so much power, so much research power in here, not only for your auto campaigns, but also for your manual campaigns. And I'm very particularly happy with this item as well. And even downloading is a breeze. I mean, in Seller Central, in some cases, you do have to wait quite a bit to even get the file. And with us, it's instantaneous, which is just fantastic. So now I'm gonna click over into this menu on the left-hand side and show you some of our other features in Ignite that people are clamoring about. And uh, one of those items is the ability to have all your marketplaces in one place so I can quickly switch between my different international marketplaces. Or maybe I'm a 1P and a 3P seller and I can switch between those accounts as well, which is, which is just the easiest thing in the world. And it's better than having a bunch of different accounts and trying to switch between those. So that's a very popular feature. Now, if you're an Ignite Plus customer, you also have the ability to connect multiple accounts and switch between those seamlessly without having to re-log in. And having everything in one place is also a huge benefit. Now, we've been beating around the bush a little bit. And really what Ignite uh, does for our customers is it enables them to, to some extent, automate their workflows. And what you're looking at here is suggestions. Now, we took, we've taken all of the industry best practices and codified them into an artificial intelligence uh, machine algorithm. And with that, we're able to analyze the historical performance of your campaigns and offer a number of different types of suggestions. And with those suggestions, we tell you how confident we are, and that's based on the amount of, amount of data we have and how long we've been tracking that keyword for. But also we have the ability to tell you what the importance of this keyword is. So how financially important is this keyword to your campaign? Now I can quickly go through and, and look at the different suggestion types and say, you know, for example, I only want to see areas where you're telling me to change my keyword bids or decrease my keyword bids. And now we're seeing decrease keyword bid recommendations and boom, I can see exactly why we're not, we're not a hidden black box here. We're transparent and we want you to know why we're making these suggestions so you can learn, but you can also gut check us which I think is a very important feature rather than just handing it over to a robot to do it. Uh, you know, one of the biggest mistakes you could do is turn something on and not moderate with automation. Amazon changes very quickly, patterns change, customer demand changes, and you need to keep an eye on these things and ignites the best of both, both worlds. It gives you processes for automating these workflows, but you can also keep an eye on things. And I, I really enjoy that about Ignite. So as you see, we have a number of different suggestion types. Uh, one of my favorite suggestions that we just launched is the ability to take a look at the performance of search terms in your auto campaigns and automatically send them over to a manual campaign. Uh, so what we're looking at here is the keyword for or the search term Fortnite apparel. And it tells us the reason why we're making this suggestion. And then it tells us, you know, we're 59 percent confident, which isn't great. So I can take some time to delay this and collect more data, or maybe this is a keyword that uh, you know we want no matter what, um, and we don't want to make any changes to the keyword. We know this is what we need to do for whatever reason. Maybe it's a proprietary um, trademark or something like that, and we're just going to click don't show this again. So a lot of functionality here, a lot of ways to drill down. I can look at individual campaigns. Uh, that have uh, suggestions generating for them. If there's multiple suggestions, I can quickly approve them or delay them. And just, just a, a, a whole lot of uh, interesting aspects that we offer here. And most importantly, you know, you want to take a look at things you've done in the past because you can learn uh, from different actions you've taken. And as you can see here, we give you a log of exactly what you've done, whether it's approving or rejecting or whatnot. And uh, we tell you if it was done by user or by an automation. And I haven't even gotten to the coolest part yet. And that is the ability for Ignite to actually automate some of the acceptance of these suggestions. So maybe you have campaigns that uh, you're comfortable with turning automation on. You want to monitor, monitor it from afar. But for the most part, you're very comfortable with having these things on. I can go in and create automation for any campaign. And I can just go in here and... Select my campaign, choose the days of the week I want it to run, 
and also choose my minimum confidence. So I only want to approve suggestions that are above 75% confidence, for example, and maybe the minimum importance isn't as big of a deal to me. So I'll approve anything above 10%. And from there, you can turn this on and let Ignite rip and Ignite will take care of this part of the workflow for you and work on everything it can do to hit your target ACOS that you have provided to us. And, and as we mentioned before, you, you can always check and see what Ignite's doing. Um, every day you can come in and take a look and see what automation has been performed. And maybe you see something you don't like and it gives you the ability to quickly catch that and go change it and correct that. Um, so definitely very powerful stuff happening ignite this is, was just a very very quick overview of some of the features we offer and there are a number more so i invite you to try out ignite if you don't have a trial we're offering a 30-day trial and really just get in there and play around thank you so much for taking the time to watch watch this very quick walkthrough and i'm looking forward to, forward to sharing more with you in the future